Good morning. Now, the other day I was playing the Xbox, as you do, and I realised that I hadn't actually got round to changing my gamer pick to mirror my channel art for YouTube. So I thought, well, I better get on and do it, and while I'm doing it, I might as well show you guys how to make a custom gamer pick. So here we are. Now, the first thing you'll need to know is that the gamer pick has to be either a JPEG or a PNG file, and it also has to be 1080 by 1080. Now, as you see, I've got up here a load of files, but the one you want to be looking at is Xbox Gamer Pick 1080 by 1080, and mine's a JPEG. So I've got that, and the easiest way to go about doing this is to just bung it onto a USB stick. So that's what I'm going to do now, so just bear with me. And as you can see, the USB stick is now plugged in and there's a fair few things on, on there already. And in amongst all the stuff that's already on there, I've actually got channel art and custom picks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select that. And I've got JC edits, Joe Chip edits, and I'm going to select that. And I'm going to drag this one across into there. So just going to drag it across and copy here. So now I've got my Xbox Gamer Pick 1080 by 1080 on my USB drive. And once you've done that, all you need to do is disconnect from the PC and take it across to your Xbox. So let's do that now. So if you just bear with me, I will be back. Right, so we're back. And as you can see, we're now on the Xbox. And all I need to do now is plug the USB drive in. And once I've done that, we should be able to continue. So just bear with me while I plug the USB drive in. And as you can see, it's come up with external media storage ready. So now we should be able to go in and add your custom gamer pick or add my custom gamer pick in this instance. So what you want to do is press the Xbox button on your controller and go all the way across to the left to sign in. And as you can see, there's only one user on this particular Xbox. But um, yeah, we go into this. So click on Joe Chip or you'd have to click on yours and then my profile. And then once that's loaded up, you would go down to customize profile and then across and down to change gamer pick. So select that. And as you can see, we've got my gamer pick that I've created already. And then we've got all the uh, ones that Microsoft have provided. And some of them are quite nice. In fact, quite a lot of them are quite nice. And you could choose one of those if you so wished. But if you want a custom gamer pick, you would need to go to the top and then across to upload a custom image. Select that. And as you can see, it's now loaded this up. Now, if you haven't got a USB drive installed, you will have these three options here. And if you have, you should have the option of your USB drive. So select your USB drive, <coughs> excuse me. And then as you can see with mine, I've got my channel art in channel art and custom picture. You could put it anywhere on your USB drive. It doesn't matter. You could actually put it in the root, in which case you would see it here. But I have put it in channel art and custom picture. So I'm going to go into that. And then if you remember, we put it in JC edits, Joe Chip edits. So if I go in there and you can see there's various pictures in here, but the one we want this is, if you look here, that's the one I'm currently using, Joe Chip 2. But the one we want is Xbox Gamer Pick 1080 by 1080. So I'm going to select that. Obviously, yours is going to have a different name and it's hopefully going to look rather different. <laughs> hopefully, you're not going to be using my uh, Gamer Pick or my channel art. But uh, anyway, I select that. And as you can see on here, it's loaded up and it actually looks pretty much how I want it. But if you look on the left there, you've got options to zoom out, zoom in and all the rest of it. So, uh, yeah, if you look there, you should be able to do that until you get it right. With mine, for some reason, it won't let me do very much. But uh, 
I can do reset image. And uh, yeah, it's uh, it's all ready to go. So if I select on upload, obviously, if you're not happy with the image you've got, you can do choose image and it will take you back so you can select a different image. But once you're happy with your, your image, you would just select upload. And as you can see, it's uploading and you have to wait till it completes and then it says successful. You'll see your updated picture once we've verified that it's OK. So click OK. And as you can see, it's showing up on the top left hand side there already. So it looks like they've verified it. So I should be able to go back to the desktop now. So if I hit the Xbox button and hit home. And as you can see, my channel art is now selected as my Xbox custom gamer pick. So that's pretty much all you need to do. Hopefully that was some use to somebody. Uh, if it was, give me a thumbs up. If it wasn't, you can give me a thumbs down. I don't mind. But um, yeah, subscribe if you like this video. I do other videos like this and I also chat about games rather a lot. So if you're interested in hearing about video games and you would like to hear my opinion and then provide yours in the comments, then subscribe and hit post notifications and all the other nonsense. And uh, yeah, hopefully we can have a chat in the comments. But in the meantime, those of you who watch me regularly will know that I'm going to go and grab a cup of tea. <laughs> and I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Bye.